One of the most unforgettable moments, I think, is the night that we met Josh. Becca noticed Josh sitting at the bar. And the NFR was on, so they wanted to watch the NFR together. So yeah, Becca went up and sat with Josh. Brandy came kind of flying into the conversation and group and all the things. And Josh nicely <laughs> stated, <laughs> I'm not gonna say the word, because there's children. Josh nicely um, stated, well, you look like a witch. Can you believe he called her a bitch? Can you believe he called her a bitch? I can believe the guy's marrying your sister after he <laughs> called her a bitch. Well, you look like a bitch. Literally the first words to her. I can't stop. A week or so later, um, we were at the bar again. And Brandy had ended up telling me that they were now Snapchat friends. So, <laughs> Josh showed up at the bar um, with some buddies, and I asked Brandy to borrow her phone. <laughs> and so I went on Snapchat, <laughs> and I messaged Josh <laughs> for her. And I said, meet me outside. <laughs> And the rest is history! <laughs> right? <laughs> We're going to Valley City and Josh says, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just meet you there. And I said, well, we can pick you up. It's right on the way. So well, I'm coming with a plus one. Josh comes rolling in and there's nobody with him. And all of a sudden I see Brandy come down the aisle. And I don't know if it's Brandy for sure. I just know that he's bringing somebody with him. So she comes walking by and I went, how you doing? She just looked at me and kept walking. And I thought, wow, Josh was right. This girl is a witch. Yeah, <laughs> Josh, Brandy, you started your lives individually as children growing up in, in wonderful homes. You made it through school, you made it through life, or through first jobs, and during that whole time, each of you grew independently of each other. And you've come together, and I've heard the stories of how you guys met and how you didn't like each other at first. I think that's awesome. <laughs> What a great story. And so as individuals, you didn't like each other right away. But as time went on and you got to know each other, you brought to the table all of your experiences, all of your baggage, the good, the bad, all of it. But all of it was framed in I and me. That changes today. Because from here on out, it's no longer I and me. It is we and us. You guys, is, I've seen you together, and you, you love each other. The string of, of us is strong, but if you add a third chord of God, adding God into your relationship and into your marriage will only strengthen what you two have already. I pray for a wonderful blessing and the love that you guys have. It will continue to grow. Forever. Feels like a dream, and I almost can't believe this vivid scene. How did I get so lucky? It's picture perfect for as far as I can see. Today is finally here. We made it. Although the road to get here 
has been anything but straight or narrow. It has all been more than worth it, and there is nothing I would change. There isn't anyone I would want to do this life with. You're my best friend, my secret keeper, my biggest supporter, and my soft place to land. You keep me grounded, yet give me the confidence to take on the world. Brandy, well we have finally made it to today. It doesn't seem like that long ago that we were in the basement and you had to help me off the floor after I proposed. I would have never guessed that the woman I thought was way out of my league would end up being the most perfect person I could have ever asked for to be in my life. Thank you so much for everything that you have done for Reed and I so far. Since day one, you and Reed have shared a bond that is just simply amazing to see. You have accepted me for me and have been my rock. You have always been there for me when I needed you most, and I always know you'll be there in the future to be my voice of reason. Remember to just enjoy today and know that I'll always be there to help you, hopefully as much as you've helped me. You are a true partner, and I am so lucky to call you mine. I am excited to see what this life has in store for us. I know there isn't anything I can't handle without you by my side. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you. I promise to always be your rock and strength whenever you need me. I honestly don't know where I'd be now without you. I look forward to living the rest of my life with you by my side. I'm also very excited for what is in store for our future, and I can't wait to enjoy our future and family. Love you always, Josh. Reed, today your dad and I become husband and wife. But more than that, today the three of us become one family. I vow to do my best to help your dad guide you through this life. I promise to support you, encourage you, and love you as my own. You're my buddy, my best friend. I will love you forever and back, as long as I live. I, Josh, take you, Brandy, to be my lawfully wedded wife. I, Brandy, take you, Josh, to be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend, faithful partner. My love from this day forward. In the presence of God, family, and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and health. In the presence of God, family, and friends, I offer you my solemn vow to be your faithful partner in sickness and in health. In good times and in hard times. In joy as well as in sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally. I will support you in your goals. I promise to honor you and respect you. To laugh with you and cry with you. I will cherish you for as long as we both shall live. I will cherish you for as long as we both shall live. I introduce to you Josh and Brandy Hoople. You may now kiss the bride. Now you know what a special person she is, and I know she'll be one of the most important people in your life, and Reed's as well. But I just want to say, she's mostly yours to take care of now, and if you don't do that, I'll break your other ankle. <laughs> <sighs> that is all. <laughs> family of Josh, Brandy, and Reed. Mm -hmm.